Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're getting a Microsoft setup bootstrapper has not working error, a problem has caused the program to stop working correctly, Windows will close the program and notify you if a solution is available. So if you're trying to install or modify different programs within the Microsoft Office suite of applications, this tutorial should hopefully be able to resolve it without too much of a hassle. So assuming you're running a Windows operating system, so Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10, I'm going to have a link in the description of my video to a Microsoft support page. And from here, there's going to be a download to go ahead and download a Microsoft Fix-It utility. So you want to go select the download button on this page. Shouldn't be a very big download, only about 216 kilobytes. So pretty small, should only take a couple of seconds to download. Once it's done downloading to your system, go ahead and just open it up. Whatever web browser you want to use might be a different prompt in order to actually open up the download, but just however you normally would open up or run applications, just want to do the same thing for this one. So at this point you can minimize or close out of the web browser, whatever you want to do. So it should come back with troubleshooting help prevent computer problems. You want to left go on the advanced button and you want to make sure it's checkmarked in here to apply repairs automatically and then go ahead and left click on next. So then it's going to give you a prompt if you're having problems installing or uninstalling an update. If you're on this tutorial, it's likely you're having a problem installing the update. So we're going to go ahead and just go select installing. But in your case, if you're getting that prompt trying to uninstall an application, you want to go select the second option. So at this point you go ahead and select what program you're trying to install. So if the one you're trying to install is not listed, you can go select not listed. However, if you're trying to run in one of the Office applications, it hopefully would show up here. So let's just go ahead and say we're trying to run this Office 16 click to run. Again, your example might be a little bit different, but we're going to go select next. And you might want to go follow along with the prompts again, so trying to uninstall or uninstall. These are already installed on our computer here, so if we went back, you'd see other options, but let's say we wanted to select no, try other fixes instead of uninstalling. You can see that we go ahead and try and identify other issues as well. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.